I want to start this week with a bit of a question to the listeners, but also you. Do you visit public car parks frequently, you know, like Wilson, Secure Park, like those park car parks? Not, not frequently. It's funny you ask. I did the the last weekend. The weekend just gone. Okay, okay. I did. Question for you. Okay. When you're um, you've parked and you, you're just about to no, sorry. When you're about to get your car and leave the car park, yep. you go down. You get that screen, and um, you pay or whatnot, and then it lets you out. Right. Yep. When it says drive, sa- it says drive safely. Right. The thing pops up. It says drive <laughs> safely. Yep. Was it? An emoji, an emoji that was winking while it said "drive safely." Yeah. See, I think this is a universal thing. I, th- I, I mean, universal. I've been to a handful of car parks. The, the supermarket. The one supermarket well. here. Yeah. The Wilson, like a bunch of bunch of ones that I've been to. For some reason, I don't know why, but there is a winking emoji with "drive safely" at the end of a car park, and I find that like someone's taking the piss. Clearly. Like, if you're telling someone to drive safely and you wink at them, (laughs) sounds like, sounds like something's up. That's all I'm saying. Like, um, it's like that Hamish and Annie thing. It's like, drive safely, like, given your history. Yeah. (laughs) This is a wink on the end. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Fine Leg to Full Forward. Ashwin, how are you? Doing pretty well, mate. How are you? I am well. uh, Really well, actually. Mm. I'll tell you why. Okay. It's uh, this badge on my chest here. Newcastle United have qualified for the Champions League. Is this this the first time in how long? 20 20 years. That's a pretty long time. 20 years. Yep. It's a substantial amount of time. So, it'll be, it'll be 21 years since we last played in there by the time it comes around. Okay. Right. When's that? Is that coming up soon or is it- It'll not be for the next season. So, do you know, do oh. you know how it works? No, not no, really. That's fine. No, that's fine. So, um, it's- The Champions League is like the, the, the best- Football league in Europe. Yes. So the the top teams from, from all the all the top leagues around Europe yes. play. Yes. Yep. So the top four, I think it's the top four from every league. I know it's top four from the Premier League. So it probably would okay. be every league. So that makes sense. From Syria, uh, Bundesliga, Premier, Premier league, league, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, and so on. And yeah, Newcastle. Newcastle have secured a top four spot. There you go. For the first time in twenty years. So I'm um, really well. To, to answer your question. Yep. What a, what a turnaround. Shout out to Eddie Howe. Shout out to Joe Linton. Shout out to Bruno, uh-huh. Kieran Trippier, Nick Pope. Yeah. That's a lot, Wilson, of, lot, of, lot of shout outs. Alexander Isak, <laughs> Miguel Al- Almiron. He's shouting out the whole team? Or it's, it's just sh- couple, he's shouting out of, like the support staff? What are you- that team, that was the team. Okay, okay. Eddie Howe was the manager. So. All right, right, right. You right. didn't stop me, so I just kind of kept yeah, going. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. That's fair enough. I think, I think um, it's obviously your team, uh, Wolverhampton. We, I, I believe we, last I checked, I think we had a one all draw with Everton. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think, I, I believe we're not getting relegated. I think you're safe. I'm just double checking. I think yeah. you're quite a way up now. Yeah, you're 13th. Oh, you're yeah, so, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's done. It's done. That, only- that was the main thing I was checking throughout the season. I was mm-hmm. looking at how far off the bottom we were. Yep. The reverse, the reverse ladder. Mate, that was that was me as a Newcastle fan for many, many years. So yep. it it doesn't always doesn't always. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, you know. Uh-huh, it's, uh-huh. Not, it's not all doom and gloom, and obviously Arsenal bottled the league, and Man City have won again. So. Mm. We'll see how that goes. You want to fake your way through any more any more Premier League chat, or you want to move on? Robin Van Persie. Yep. Yep. Wesley Schneider. Yep. Um, Sticking with Dutch for some reason. Ah, uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Didn't even realise actually. Wayne, Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Wayne Rooney. Thierry Henry. Bit yeah. a bit of rude Van Nistelrooy. Who's that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna move on there. Chat. We'll move on. <laughs> Um, something exciting. We we like whenever this happens. This being a um, a bonus hottest one hundred countdown. Yes. In in the same year. Yep. You want to tell the listeners what's what's what that's about? The like of version hottest one hundred. So the all time like of it, like every like a version ever. Yeah. So I, I 
I think, I'm, I'm not sure if this is exactly the reason, but I think the first Leica version was done in what, 2004 mm -hmm. or I think something so. like that. Yeah. So, actually, I'm not years. sure. That, that's less than 20 years, so I'm not sure why that's mm, the case. But yeah, well, it depends at what point in 2004, because you got 2004, 5, 6. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah. true, true. So, it, yeah. about 20 years of Leica versions. And mm -hmm. um, we were going through them the other day when the, when voting. I think the, I think it was on the day that voting opened up. Yes. Yeah. So Tuesday, the week just yeah. So you listen to this on Thursday. Yeah. Couple of days. It's been open for a couple of days. So yep. <laughs> get get to voting. Yeah. Definitely a few that I completely forgot about. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. Is there is there some that you know you've locked in though already? Give it. Give us one or two that you reckon you've you've locked in. Oh, I'm definitely voting for a couple of my um, for just Aussie hip hop. Yep. Boys, because uh, I, I know that not many people are going to vote for him. So oh, horror show, horror show. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, I, I the there can I kick it? Um, walk on the wild side. Yeah, like a version is is just magnificent. And um, look, if it makes it into the hundred, that'll be incredible. But um, it's one of those ones that you just don't really think will. You know, it's like the hottest hundred every year. You just doesn't get the love it deserves, does yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, you got you've I, you've pretty much done your top ten. I've got I've got about a, a fourteen list at the moment. Yeah, and I, I was looking again today, and there's a couple that I forgot, so I'm adding. But I mean, no one can be surprised. Like Charles Gambino, so into you. That'll that'll be there. Yep. Um, Denzel Curry's Balls on Parade. Yeah. Um, controversially, I think it's better than the original. Yep. Yep. And. Um, Ocean Alley's Baby Come Back. I mm. reckon that'll do really well. Iconic. As, as well. Uh, yeah, that's in the votes. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, Leica versions usually feature in the normal countdown, so that this has never really been done before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm excited to see how it goes. So I think the countdown itself I think, is 15th of July. I yeah. think voting closes a few days before that. Yeah, okay. I think there's like six, 650-odd ones to vote for. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you need to uh, you need to get thinking about the rest of your votes. Okay. I need to cut down, and anyone listening, you mm. need to just get voting. Get voting. Triple J, hottest one hundred. What's the word I want? Like a version. Like a version. Just, just Google it. You'll you'll be able to find it. Yeah. Should we run it back? Let's run it back. So, running it back through the first round of. Sir Doug Nichols round the two weeks. Yes. A um, few things Few things have happened over the weekend, a few big moments. A few, yeah, plen plenty has happened. And obviously what everyone's thinking about um, is the superior blue and white team has, has been established. The blue and white teams. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So earlier in the year, North travelled over West and, and beat Fremantle over there. Yes. Geelong yes. did the same thing and didn't beat Fremantle over there. Ah. So North are the superior blue and white team. Really? I did not work that way. Con congratulations. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. wonder what, what would happen if we played you. I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like... Honestly, the, the way this... Who knows? Who knows this is? <laughs> you smashed us you smashed by about 100 points, didn't you? Did we play you this season? We played yeah, you this season? Yeah. What? When? I swear you have. You, I don't think we have. Didn't you demolish we, us by like 80-odd? No, oh, that was Hawthorne, wasn't it? When we played Hawthorne and we played West Coast. Have we played? I don't think we played you. I swear you have. I don't think we have. Really? Nah. We beat Sydney by 93. Yeah, okay. Yeah, West Coast we beat. Okay, I'm just know, dreaming of yeah. getting smashed by Geelong. It's all right. That's a weird weird kink, but <laughs> we'll, we, we'll move on from it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Um, big win for Port over the days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's... Port are a funny team around this time every year, aren't they? Mm. Go, oh, are they finally gonna, you know, take the take the step? Because there was been a, was it twenty twenty one or twenty? Uh, wasn't just, that long ago they finished top of the ladder? Yeah, and then yeah, finals then just comes around, faded away. Be interesting, be interesting. But I mean, all the signs are there at the moment. But we'll yeah. see, we'll see what happens. And any any time you're beating the D's, you do take it. it. Yeah, like I mean, it. the D's are still that good. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. Uh, the biggest ever win for a bottom of the ladder side in the in the Harley Reed Cup. Mm. So the Hawks smash West Coast by what over a hundred, wasn't it? Something yep. like that, was it? Yeah, I think it was yeah. more than a hundred. Yeah. yeah, 
That's why I said over 100, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 116, they've been a bite. Yeah, the fact that West Coast has scored 26 points, that's mm. outrageous. That is outrageous. But uh, yeah, the Harley Reid Cup. Mm. So it'll be interesting. Harley Reid's a, he's a Victorian lad, whether he's going to want to go to West Coast. I mean, who knows? Who knows what happens there? Something that was massive that happened over the weekend. Yep. Uh, North were very close from from getting our third win of you, this season. Are you right talking about this? I'm right talking yeah, well, about okay. it. It's okay. Because the, th- the third win's been a little hard to come by the last few years, isn't it? it yes. Yes. You know, we, we had two last year. We had two in the first two this year. And we're still on two. So, you know, until we get that third win... It's hard to say we were improving, you know? So, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Do you want to remind Alyssa of what happened at the end of that game? <sighs> we were up. You were. Yep, you were. <laughs> we were up 90 to uh, 87, I believe it was. Um, I think it was too. And uh, we uh, we had a, a couple, I think, there, I think there was a couple of rotations quite late. Someone was, someone might have been injured. And and there was another quick. I think we made two quick interchanges at the same time. At the right? same yep. time, which took us from seventy four to seventy six, and the limit is seventy five, which I actually had no idea about. Being completely honest. All, all the listeners did. Yeah, all, yeah, they knew. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and this was found out about ninety seconds later. Yep. When the ball was deep in our in our forward forward fifty in our defensive, defensive fifty. fifty yep. And um yeah. Uh, an automatic fifty meter penalty resulting in a in a goal for the Swans and uh and the win. Yeah, yeah. It's it it sucks. It sucks because it's such a the the timing of it's so unfortunate. Yeah. But it's also like it, it any kind of interchange infringement, it's always always been the Always been the rule. Yeah, no, you can't you can't blame anyone for it. You can't yeah. blame any, a, anything for it's it. Just the, the timing, the timing of it being at the end of the yeah. game, being you know, Brett Ratton. Is it Brett Ratton's in, interim coach at the moment? Yeah, first game yeah. is the uh, yeah being his, his first interim coach. Yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah. And then you yeah, had the funny part was Buddy Franklin celebrating <laughs> like they just won the grand final. <laughs> You've got a, a last minute fifty meter penalty against North Melbourne. It's like, come on, mate! You're in the grand final last year. What are you? I did, I did see that. That was the, right? was the first like thing because he was in shot as well. Yeah, like it was like the umpire um, used to say, look at everyone, and then in the background he just pops up and he's like, shit. <laughs> Shout out to the umpires as well for how efficiently they communicated that. By the way, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. To be fair, it was. As soon as it was realised, it was communicated. It was mm. yeah, it was quite quite efficient. Yeah. Um, what else happened? The uh, the Dons, the Dons um, won a thriller last minute um, winner, wasn't it? Uh, Mate, dream time, dream time at the G was was incredible. Did you catch much of it? Or yeah, you- was it the was it the Hawthorne Hotel? Yes. Uh, the the footy package there, um, officially done with the wharf. as, yep. as I'm sure we we remember. Yeah, yeah. No, everything about it was 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 awesome. The um, the pregame, um, yeah. and then they had uh, uh, right at the end, sort of having the Indigenous boys out the front, sort of arm in arm, and then everyone else sort of creating a, a loop around. Um, Nath was really cool, um, and, and I don't think we have another game like that. M- I might be wrong, but uh, like a marquee game like that where it's completely dark, it's at night. And everyone's got their phones out, and you see the light. That sea of lights. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Don't think th- I don't think there is either. I don't think so. Yeah. Unless you know, we get a twilight grand final <laughs> in years to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no, always it's always an occasion, isn't it? It's always a just a bloody awesome sight. Um, but what we didn't know was that it was going to be Damien Hardwick's last game as as coach of Richmond. Mm. Um. Bit of a shock to hear that he that he he stepped away. Obviously, yeah, he's done an amazing. He's had an amazing run with the with the Tigers. Yep, you can't spell dimasty without dimmer. I don't think I've tried to spell the word dimasty before. Well, if you were to try, you can't spell it without dimmer. Yeah, that's but, true. Um, you know, we've got to, we've got to pay respects to him because mm. I mean, 
he's been on the other end of Ge- a lot of Geelong pain in September, the last sort of six, seven, eight, nine years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, what he's what he's done to that to that club. I remember there was a was it Brendan Gale. He was interviewed on that. Fo- I can't remember which footy show it was, and he was on about he had like a um, a ten year plan, and it was. Hundred thousand members, three flags, or or a, was it three flags by twenty twenty, or or a flag by twenty seventeen, or something like that. I can't remember uh, what it was. Is this back in like twenty ten? This was twenty ten, yeah. Jeez. And yeah, they they got they got it all, and obviously he was a massive part of that. So as much as it pains me to say, being a, a Geelong supporter on the receiving end of that for so many years, yeah. I mean, we've got to we've got to respect his. Um, his contributions to the Richmond Football Club, the longest ever tenured coach as well. Yeah. 307 games coach or something like that. In a row. That's- Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, is in- Oh, so for, for the for Richmond. Rich- yeah, sorry. For, for yeah, Richmond. Yeah, 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 so yeah, that was, yeah. Um, yeah, the longest ever. Yeah. So most ever games coach for Richmond, so. Anything you want to, there, add, want to add there on Dimmer? I mean, just a, his record speaks for itself, mate. Like, and I didn't realise that, that statement was made in 2010 with mm, that ambition mm. of that. Oh, yeah, I think it was three flags, 100,000 members. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, like... It's mad. And everyone was laughing at him. Yeah. Because, I mean, back then they were a rabble. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, finishing ninth all the time, like, mm. in the same way that Carlton... Like, it was... Mm. Both of mm-hmm. the teams were sort of seen as that same sort of yeah. middle of the pack sort of thing. But... um. When you take a step back, like like right now, obviously we're in the heat of it, and it's very much like yeah, burnt out and and lots of things being said and everything. But take a step back, of everything he's achieved and where they were, and they've effectively had a had a absolutely had a dynasty. Mm-hmm. You know, you, after you've done that, you can step away whenever you want. Really. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, now the un- the unfortunate part. About it all was uh, that the the news was leaked and <laughs> leaks, mate. Dimmer himself couldn't control the the narrative. Mm. Felt particularly bad for I think it was Nathan Broad. He was he was live on on the couch on Fox Footy. Yep. When the news broke and he was he was talking up Richmond's finals chances and then it, it cut to the like breaking news that mm, mm. Dimmer was stepping away from the role. But we've actually done a bit of research ourselves, believe it or not, dear listeners, and yeah. we found out that it wasn't actually the weirdest way that a Richmond player found out about the news, mm. was it? No. No, no, it wasn't. We've actually, we've got, yeah, confirmed information from uh, about several players about how they found out. We're not yeah. going to reveal our sources. Yeah, just, yeah, a few few tip-offs. Yeah. Um, did, you want, did you want to start us off or do you want me to kick it off? Um... I can I can start us off. All right, okay. All right. So I've got a source. Um, can't can't say too much about the source. Um, they might be a Commodore driver. I think that's about about all I can say. <laughs> uh, but I've got a source that's confirmed that Dylan Grimes found out the news via a carrier pigeon. Via carrier pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So he was on his farm out in Mount Macedon. Yeah. When a, a carrier pigeon swooped down, dropped a tiny scroll in his hands, and uh, and flew off into the distance. Right? How beautiful! Yeah, picturesque. <laughs> and and so he's got this this scroll in his hands, right? Uh, and and he was left deciphering this message on the scroll that read, "Tigers don't spread their wings, but your coach is." <laughs> Wow! 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 Mm-hmm. That is that is hot off the press. That's that's a red hot scoop. That one. Yeah. See, no one's talking about that. You know, they're no. talking about Nathan Brawl being on on TV. They're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Tom Morris being the one that leaked it. No one's talking about Dylan Dylan Grimes finding out via no. pigeon. No, and and we've got more. Like uh, I was going to say, yeah, yeah. If you if you think that's bad, yeah. His co captain, obviously Grimes and Dankervis co captains. Mm, mm. His co captain Toby Dankervis was was out for dinner the night that it was leaked. Now rumor has it uh, Toby Dankervis's favorite cuisine is is Chinese. Nice. So he happened to be out at his at his favorite Chinese restaurant. Yep. Now our sources 
indicate that um, he just finished, he just polished off a hearty feed. Mm. Yeah, some sweet and sour pork. Nice. Some some lemon chicken. Yep. Some noodles and some dumplings. So mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. fair to say that he was pr- pretty content after a feed like that. Yep. I would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your go-to in that kind of... You, you love dumplings and noodles, don't you? I do love dumplings and noodles. Um, I like a um, couple of friendly honks there. That's it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Again. Cheered on from the, the road. Yep, some yep. Flutter fans out the front, eh? Few, or Chinese restaurant fans, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Um, I like Singapore noodles. Singapore noodles, yeah. yeah, yeah they're yeah, like yeah. the thin. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so he had, he had a pretty good feed, right? It was, it was fair to say he was content after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Until, uh, until he cracked open a fortune cookie just oh, after his feed. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I don't know that many people who take too much interest in, into what they- into what's on the inside of those. Yep, yep. But uh, inside Toby Nanko's fortune cookie was mm-hmm. uh, a new coach is on your horizon. Right. Yeah. There you go. It's actually mad, you know. That, that's, that's mad. It's mad, isn't it? It's, it's mad. mad. And yeah, then he must have gone on social media and, and yep. seen the rumours from and there. And then seen it yeah. from there. That's mad. That's, but that was definitely the first, the first way that he found out, mm, though. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Mm. Tell you another thing. Uh, the top draft pick from last year, Caleb Smith. The Tigers' top draft pick. Sorry, the Tigers' top draft pick. Um, he's getting used to his life as an A4 footballer. And um, I have heard he's a bit of a uh, four wheel drive enthusiast. Okay, another exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Again, I can't reveal the source. <laughs> but um, I think, I, I, I think. The source likes wearing chinos that are slightly rolled up, just one or two, one or two rolls. But, um, That's good because I think these are rolled three or four. Let's <laughs> 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 try it again. <laughs> um, so, so a bit of a four wheel drive enthusiast. So, um, y- y- Toyota being the um, major sponsor of the AFL. Yep, obviously. Yep. Um, he's picking up a brand new Toyota Land Cruiser. Jeez, he's doing all right. He's doing, yeah, he's doing yeah, all right. Yeah, right. Um, but you're not going to believe what happened on his way out of the dealership. What happened, Ashwin? What he happened? He saw one of those, I, f- I forget what they, I don't know if they're called tall boys or, or there's some word for it. Oh, these things. The, 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 uh, that, that thing. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a. That's going to be a. Um, it might be. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> it might end up on the gram. The uh, the yeah the inflatable tube men looking yeah. things. Yeah, the wacky those looking, things. Yeah, the yeah. wacky looking things. Um, he saw one of those, um, but in its arms it was holding a sign saying "Dimmer is hitting the road." Oh, so yeah. it was up like that with the yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah, with the sign. Jeez, he's done. He's done well to to read the sign like that. Yeah, Dimmer's yeah. hitting the road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. I mean. Probably soften the blow being in a brand new Land Cruiser. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, if we, I mean, not that we're we have any sponsors on this show, but I feel like Toyota would be a pretty big, big one if, mind that. to start everything off. Yeah. Welcome to the Toyota fine linked full forward footy season. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Like a nice little cheeky Toyota logo. Yeah. On the on the canvas there behind us. Yeah, yeah. On the where where'd you put it? Put it. Oh, you have to put it above, yeah. wouldn't you? You'd have to go above. Yeah, and instead yeah, of doing the um, instead of doing the jump, because like, there's a jump in yeah, the, the end, you yeah. just do like the fist bump or something, and then yeah. it like yeah, or the kick, or the kick. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Full. Yeah, nice. I yeah. like it. See, the ideas are happening, and mm-hmm. if you are listening and you do work with Toyota, <laughs> I mean, it goes without saying. Like, look at what we look at the kind of insight we offer. Speaking of insight, I have even more. I've got another one for you. Okay. Okay. We all know. Okay, we all know that Dusty is a mm. magician mm. on the field. What's not as well known is, yep. is, is his passion for magicians mm. and just magic in general. Right. So, believe it or not, he was actually, believe it or not, he was at a, uh, a magic show the night that the, the news was leaked. Yep. And the show, you know, had all the, the classic tricks, you know, cut the assistant in half, yeah. card tricks and all that. Yep, yep. But the show ended with uh, this particular magician's signature trick. Okay. The magic eight ball prediction. Ah, uh, yep. And the magician had, had clocked Dusty in the crowd and he yeah. asked him to come up on stage as a volunteer. Yep, yep. 
Uh, you'd ask him to test that the magic eight ball was working properly. Mm-hmm. All right. So he's asked he's asked Dusty to you know ask a couple of questions. So Dusty's asked the magic eight ball. Is my name Dustin Martin? Yep. And he's shaking it and it's gone. Yep. Oh. And he's like, oh, we just ask it, ask it another one, you know, yep. just to make sure that's working properly. Yep. So he then asks, will I win another flag? Yep. And he's shaking it. Yep. And it's gone. Ask again later. <laughs> So it's like, oh, yeah, it's fair. It's probably, there's enough calibration there. It's probably it's a fair response. It's think. probably working enough. Yeah. yeah. So um, the magician, uh, apparently, and then this is just from the sources, like we can't actually yeah. reveal any more than that. But apparently yeah. the, the magician then whispered a question into Dusty's ear for him to ask the magic eight ball. Yeah. So he was confused and uncomfortable, but he obliged and okay. asked the question. Okay. So he grabs the magic eight ball again and he goes, will Richmond be in the news tonight? And he's shaking it. And the magic eight ball says- you're about to be as shook as you just shook me. Hashtag thanks, Dimmer. <laughs> that's what Magic 8-Ball said. I didn't, I didn't realise Magic 8-Balls could do hashtags. Yep. That's your problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I might question yeah. our source on, yeah. I think. We found out via Magic 8-Ball. There you go. That's mad. That is, that is, that is quite mad. Yep. yep. I've got another one. Did you want, do you want me to go again or do you want to do the next one? There you go, you go. I'll go again. Go, you're on a roll, mate. So is we, this from the same source, by the way? This or? this is the same source. I think that's why, why I want to keep it going. Okay, okay. So the um, we all remember the infamous moment when Jack Rewalt sung Mr. Brightside on yeah. stage with the Killers yeah, after yeah, yeah. their 2017 grand final. Yep, win. yep. So we know from that that he loves a bit of a sing-song, right? Yeah. So another- No, same source. We said the same source, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. same source was in two different places at once, apparently. <laughs> there you go. That's- um, It's incredible. He discovered that Jack was out at the park with his kids, right? Mm-hmm. He was having a quick sit down um, while he was watching him on the playground, you know? Yeah. Quite a normal thing to do as a parent, mm-hmm. I've been told. I don't know. Yeah. Out of nowhere, mm. believe it or not, a singing telegram ap- appeared. Yeah. So, this, this well-dressed opera singer- Came out of nowhere mm. and just started, just burst into song and was singing, Open up your teary eyes, because Dimmer has resigned. <laughs> it's crazy. That is, it's that's, crazy. In, that's insane. Okay. One thing I, I, I feel like, uh, I mean, I'm just thinking about all these different things, right? One thing that I, I, I can see. Maybe the source happens to be a magician that works at a Chinese restaurant and that owns a pigeon. Yep, and has done all of these things. Uh, set up a, a, a put up, put the sign on the car dealership yep. um, thing and um, and sent a, a telegram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like crazy. that's the only way that, that that all of these things could be could happen. Yeah, it's funny you say that because you know you say what you want about you know the leak or, or whatever yeah, but yeah. yeah to have actually orchestrated all of that yeah fair play to him yeah 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 that's why that's why they're our source yeah so getting forward now my question for you oh, oh sorry i got sorry i have some miles away i got baby come back in my head ah the ocean alley version or the uh <sighs> the ocean alley version yeah. okay did better- it come back <laughs> better th- better than the original Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I'm not chasing anymore. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Uh, My question to you, how would you want to find out that your coach resigned? Ooh, okay. So, am I I an AFL player? Yeah. Am I I, I a Richmond player in this scenario? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, I'm trying to think about where where I would have been that night. Mm. Where would I have been? Um, can I, can I make up my own interests for the sake of this exercise? Like if I like, sure. so just make, give, give, give myself new hobbies that I don't necessarily have. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. So I am going for my pilot's license. Uh-huh. Right. And I want to, I've, you know, my, my, my test would have been the following week to get my full, I don't know how it fucking works. Yep. But I wanted to do like this acrobatic style stuff, all right? And I yep. was having one last sort of lesson with my instructor, and he was giving me this this little this course to fly out in the air, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. You know, all the loop the loops and all that. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've I've done that according to his instructions. Yep. And then we've landed. I've looked up, and I it, my myself have written 
Dimmer has resigned in like like in the clouds. You've done it yourself. I've done it myself. I don't know what I've done until I've landed and the, the instructors told me to look up. Look up at what I, you've done. And I've written it myself. And it was written in the in the clouds. Written in the clouds by me, but I didn't by know. You, but you didn't know. So I've told myself, but I don't know that I've told myself. Okay. And and you've manifested it from your writing. It's actually happened. No. No. Okay. No. Our source has told right. my instructor. Uh, and then my instructor's told me to do this without telling me what I'm doing. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This source is extremely It's all over it, yeah. So yeah. not only not only is he on the Chinese restaurant and whatever else we said, yeah, but yeah, yeah. He's, he also, he's a pilot instructor as well. Yeah, yeah. How, how would you want to find out if you were a Richmond player? Um, oof. Jeez. There's lots of... Whoa. I think... I th- I, I'm thinking... I recently rewatched the Imitation Game. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch, the 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 World War Two one. Yeah, yes, that's such a good movie. Great movie. Such a good movie. So, because I recently rewatched it, I feel like I somehow want to integrate that into this answer. But I'm struggling to find a, a, <laughs> was a great. Say, was, was that you integrating? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that an answer? <laughs> like so the source could have. Put the met that put like Dimmer has resigned. Yeah. in in that code. Yeah, and then you've had to put the code through the Th- machine through some machine or something. But I don't have a machine to do that though. Maybe believe it or not, I can't fly a plane, so don't worry. Okay. About that. <laughs> Switch on. Switch on is what you just heard Ashwin say in the in the sting for this segment. Uh, so I don't know why I said it again because. You just heard what was happening. Sometimes we do that, don't we? We we repeat what's already being said. Yeah. Sometimes we say it. I was going to say run it back, but it's not actually in the run it back thing, is it? Because that's just part of the main oh, it's just theme. The, the theme. Yeah, yeah. We say let's run it back, and then the theme plays, and then yeah. we say so running it back. It's like you know that that's coming because we've just said it. Like, yeah. Why do we do that? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Not important. Uh, mm. Question one for you this week, okay. Matt. Yeah. If you were approached by a journalist or whoever. Yep. Uh, to be a leak. Mm. Let's say for, you know, we'll, we'll give Richmond a rest. You work for a different footy club, right? Okay. In whatever whatever role you, you see fit. Yep. Yep. You've been approached by a journalist to be a leak. Yeah. Right. What what would your price be? <laughs> like if someone was to offer you a certain amount of money yeah. for you to say, what would you say yes to? Oh, jeez. Um. Oh, it's a very ethical sort of it is. question. It is. It? You tend philosophy in it. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I'd... Is is there a price? I feel like it would depend on, would it depend on the how big the information was? Like what specifically it was? Let's like, say there was no requirement about the quality of information. Okay, so everything's even. Any, any bit of, any leak is a leak. Any leak is a leak. Okay. Like, um... A, a midfielder for your club yep. tells everyone that he wears size 10 shoes, but he really wears size 9. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. Or <laughs> something a bit bigger than that, you know? Yeah. A little bit and, any kind of leak. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't know. It's such a weird... Um, <laughs> You're uncomfortable, aren't you, with this question? I, I am, but but if you want, a, if you want an answer... Um, I'll say, say, um, $65. Yeah. $65? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I th- I th- okay, right. So, there's not a lot of integrity there, but <laughs> the lower the price. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do, what do, what do you want to know? 65 bucks? Yeah, I'll take it. Why would you say 60? I thought you were going to say like a million dollars. A million? If someone was to offer you a million dollars to be like, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll tell you what you want to know. I'll tell you anything. You'd say $65. But I don't know. Like Jesus see, Christ. See, I'm thinking about the shoe size thing. Like, that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I know, about. but in my head- you're you're saying yes to a stupid amount of money, yeah. to give a, a disappointing amount of information. So yeah, that you're like just in case stitching them up for asking you such a preposterous question. Uh, I feel like I just wouldn't wouldn't leak in the first place. <sighs> All right, fine, I'll move on. Ha- but how much? How much would? Oh, a million. Okay, a million. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Nah, sixty four ninety nine. I reckon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, question two. Yeah. Um, sorry in advance. Mm. Can you freestyle? Yeah, I'm reading it now. Yeah. Can you freestyle a couple of bars, just a couple, about the word dimmer? And I'll let you pick the spelling of the word dimmer. Uh huh. As in dimmer, dimmer, as in the lights are off, or dimmer, as in Damien Hardwick. Can I use both? Yeah, I was, I was hoping you would, yeah. So I said, I'll let you pick the spelling. Uh, and drop dimmer. And dimmer. Um, he's thinking. Uh, he's umming. He's ahhing. He's thinking. He's choking. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. It's starting. It's getting dimmer now that dimmer's gone. I see that light slowly glimmer, and then it fades. Fades like the chances of North's going south getting slimmer. <laughs> we'll take it. That's outstanding. <laughs> well done. Well done. Absolutely spot really? on. Nicely done. You're way better than I thought you were going to do. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were just going to go, nah. <laughs> well done. That was sick. Thanks, mate. This guy, for those those listening, he um, he raps. A little bit, but don't. But I don't freestyle. At ravenous rapper. No, no. At rave dot underscore rapper. That's it. There you go. That's it. Plenty of content on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Anyway, that's my questions for you. All right, I've got two questions for you, both on the same theme though. Okay. Um, Dim is left now, and uh, is it caretaker coach? And, do you know who it is? Uh, McWalter. You do know who it is. I do know who it is. Yeah, I forgot you were there when I Googled it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my two questions are about the caretaker coach. So, question one, what is the ideal duration of a caretaker coach at a, at a, at a club? In my opinion? Yeah, in your opinion. Both these questions are just sort of an in your opinion thing. Okay. All right, that's good to know. Um, I'm trying to think about... Obviously, ideally not this early in the season. Like in in my in my opinion, is something like you know, there's four or five games left. Chances of finals is probably probably over. Mm. You just you want to you know blood the young kids, get 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 some games into them. So yeah, like yeah, the last four or five games, and then uh, a, a long term, you know, the new long term coach comes in over the off season. That's what I'd say. What about you? What'd you say? Depends how good they're doing. I feel like. <laughs> okay. I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's. I always like the idea of them um, being rewarded, like having a great start and then getting the full full time mm-hmm. role. Yep. It just hasn't worked out for us in the past. Um, no, you've had a lot of interim coaches, haven't you? A lot of caretaker coaches. Be- becoming the coach, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll say something like, yeah, something similar. At the end of a season, maybe like, yeah, six or seven weeks. Mm. Mm, fair enough. All right, question two. Again, on the caretaker, caretaker coach. Um, let's say you were going to be a caretaker coach uh, at an AFL club. Jesus Christ, how's that happened? Yeah, yeah. For the last six or seven games of the season. Okay. Um, would you try to emulate the previous coach's style and, and how they went about it and j- mainly to make sure the players don't experience like a shock and, and that, especially if the, t- if the team's doing pretty well and the coach just happens to leave for – for their own reasons, mm. would you try to emulate the coach and try to keep things, keep the ship running as as similarly as as possible, or would you bring your own style to the role and change things as much as possible, just so that you can be you as a coach? It's interesting, isn't it? Because if if you become the caretaker coach, chances are you're an assistant coach. So you were part of that system anyway. Yeah, you've been there the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ah, uh, and again, it depends on how well, how well the club's doing. Like it depends on on the circumstances as to why the coach has left. Yeah, yeah. But if I think you've got free reign 
if the if the team's not doing so good. Yep. But I think I think in my opinion, like if 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 I was given the opportunity, mm. it'd be a chance to to show what you're about. Yeah. You you like it's almost like part of a job interview. Yeah. In way. You're like, I know I'm 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 gonna go for this yep. this job myself. I'm gonna show what I can do. And yeah. not many people have I mean, obviously there's been caretaker coaches in the past, so I say not many people, but a few people have. But yeah. It's pretty rare to have the opportunity to showcase what you can do at that level before you actually do what you do at that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think just go for it. Yeah. Go yep. for it. Do your own thing. Play yep. your own brand. Yeah. Agree, disagree? I, I agree too. Mainly in the sense I, I agree in the sense that quite likely you are going to have a similar style to the yeah, coach yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, unless, you know, as the assistant, you don't have much, like maybe the, you just feed into what the coach is saying. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You don't get to do your own thing. But um, I think you you have to, every single game that you coach should be coached your way. Um, and wherever you can get the chance to showcase yourself as a coach, you should be showcasing yourself and not... Um, trying to emulate someone else or, or, or um, yeah, copy someone else. Well said. If you are a caretaker coach and you're umming and ahhing about which way to go, <laughs> reach out. We, you know, we, we're always happy to be a sounding board in the DMs. Money! 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 All righty, time for my mate Multi Breeze through my legs from last week. Leg one, I said... The ceremony prior to the Dreamtime game this weekend is to go for more than 10 minutes. Yes, just. Really? I checked, I checked the time and I went for like 10 and a half or 11 minutes or something like that. Um, yeah, I, for some reason I thought it was going to go for like half an hour or something like that. But it was do they usually? Just, they do usually. Yeah, it was quite short. Yeah. Um, it, it started half an hour before the game. But then oh, okay. yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. you got to take all the stuff off the the stage and everything off the ground. Anyway, uh, leg two. I said um, I will fall asleep on the train at some point tomorrow. I was taking the V line back from Warrnambool and I closed my eyes, but I did not sleep. Oh, okay, so that's a no. That's a no. Leg three. All players will be clothed during post game playoff press conferences this week. <laughs> I'll be honest. Didn't check. Didn't check. Didn't check. Okay. So yeah. what are you going to do if you didn't check? Uh, I can take it. I can take it as a no. I don't know. Did Did you see Jimmy th- Butler uh, showing any skin? I mean, I don't. Th- yeah, I th- I th- I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's clothes. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. Right. Take it then. Take it, man. That's two out of three. Sick. Well done. Uh, mine from last week. I said less than three teams will lose by ten or more goals. Yes, that got yep. up. Yep. I think there was only one. I think. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to bother re-looking, but yep. it definitely got up. Uh, leg two, I said, I'll see more than four long sleeve Guernseys during the green the, during the dream time game. Yeah. I don't remember seeing more than four. I don't remember seeing any, actually. No, there's definitely at least... I uh, definitely saw a couple. All right, I don't remember seeing four, so okay. I'll say I'll say nope. Okay. That didn't, didn't get up. And uh, leg three, I said there'll be more people at this week's Q Clash than the last one. So that was the last week, obviously. Yep. The last round is gone. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that got up. I think it was about two or 3,000 more. Yeah, right. This time. So two out of three as well, mate. There you go. There we go. Cons- maybe that's the new consistent. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Okay. <laughs> All right, legs for this week. Leg one. An Indigenous player will have the most goal assists this round. Like it, like it, like yeah. it. So it might be equal with other people. Quite often the lead, the leader in goal assists is like equal across it's the board. It's usually a couple. Of- yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. a few people get like two or three or something. In it, but um, one of them will be uh, Indigenous. Uh, leg two. Someone from the Miami Heat will be ejected from a game within the next week. Any game. Any game. And it could be... Player could be coaching staff, like yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. And leg three, the Chennai Super Kings will bowl less than three no balls in the IPL final this week. Is it the final already? Is it the final already? Yeah, so they've made the final, and I don't. I think the the other who they're versing is yet to be determined, but I think it's on Monday. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. There you go. There we go. Mine from sorry, mine for this week. Mm. Uh, West Coast will score above. 45 points this week. Yep. So I think they were 26 last week and then 43 or something the week before. Mm-hmm. They're going to crack 45 this week. 
Uh, leg two, I will watch no more than one game of AFL this weekend. I'm going to be up north over the weekend, so I doubt I will catch any. Yep. Or more than one. And then leg three, uh, Geelong will have their indigenous name feature as part of the coverage this week. Mm. It was odd. I was watching the game. Yep. And uh, Fremantle, while you're up, yep. um, on the on the scoreboard and on all parts of the coverage, it, it was saying, you know, while you're up, Dockers, and it was just saying Geelong Cats, just as the, 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 the normal Geelong spelling. And the commentators were- Referring to the, the commentators team. were saying "Well, you're up" instead yep. of Fremantle, yep. and they were just saying Geelong normally, and yep. I couldn't work out why they do one and not the other. Yeah, if, if it was it's, odd. Like, yeah, yeah if you're going to do it for just the home team, like it doesn't make any sense. Just no, do it for every. Yeah, I, I really like that they've done it. Uh, I absolutely it's, love it's that they've done yeah, it. Yeah, I think yeah. they should have yeah, done it way before now. Yeah, not that I thought about doing it myself. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's odd that they then decide to do it, but then not do it for for both teams. Both teams. Yeah, and there were some games where. None of the teams had done it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just, just get everyone amongst it. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, yeah, we'll see if 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 that is any different at all this week. Episode eighty-seven in the books, a famously unlucky number for Australian batsmen. Yes, and we've made it. We we have made it. Uh, I, I remember we were looking at this episode. We were getting scared. And um, I remember we were looking, thinking of ideas of what to do for this episode. Yeah, and we were very much at a, a mental blank. And then it, it sounds pretty crazy because so much has happened over the weekend. Yeah, but quite often um, to take you behind the curtain, I suppose, when we're thinking of <laughs> we're thinking of ideas for episodes, we, we're trying to think of ways to make them flit of episodes. Yeah, and make them yeah. very much us. But also, you know, try to tick a few boxes and make sure we enjoy what we're doing and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, we were at a bit of a mental blank, and I kept thinking, eighty-seven. This is this is eighty-seven. Which which we're going to be able to get past it or not? Well, we don't know. We're gonna, we won't know until next week. Yeah, true. <laughs> we're not on eighty-seven now. We've got to figure all that out yet. So um, maybe we leave you with that thought and t- tune in next week and see if there is one. Yep. <laughs> until then. Until episode 88, whenever that may be. Fingers crossed. Keep kicking girls.